the education of the native people from this particular area came from uh, Grape Island, most of them, and, and the others along the shores of Lake Ontario. But they were nomadic people hunting and fishing, and the first thing they did was try to get them converted to Christianity. That was the first step. And because the difference in cultures, I don't think they ever expected too much of Native people. So they didn't set any high or positive goals for them. In fact, they said that the best they could do would be to uh, teach them as much as they could but not expect too much. And they implied that they weren't capable. They didn't explain why they weren't capable. I don't think it was due to lack of intelligence because they could teach their teachers many things about the way to live in this country. Uh, one of the things that my father remembered, he went to school here. The, the teacher was Lawrence. They called him Daddy Lawrence. He was a little man but quite authoritative in many ways. And he told the students, now he says, your instruction is going to be in English, English only. And if I get anyone using your native tongue here on the school grounds or in the classroom, you'll be punished. That was corporal punishment. That ended my dad's exposure to the native language. Okay. Uh, while my uncle was teaching here for 14 years, he had only one student that graduated from public school and that was I guess always expected. It changed after that a few years because we had teachers. Not only were they the missionaries but they were well educated and they were able to uh, you know give them better instruction in academics not in their own culture but in the English language. I came here in 36, and I, my whole plan was to try to get the children to have a positive image of themselves and adopt the uh, value systems that I thought were positive from the non-native group and also their own value systems, which were, were, uh, we'll find out later, were probably superior to those of the people who based their sentiments on something entirely different because the native people were attuned to nature. I did have the first day I came into school, I had 52 children and I had grades one to 10. And the people used to wonder how I did it. I couldn't tell you. I didn't learn that in teacher's college to tell you. <laughs> you see, there was a teacher's built right on the front the classroom behind it, and then there was a common basement, you know. And I'd leave the, the door open early, you know, because some of them come in, and they'd be very quiet to go into school, grab a book and read, and they'd take the equipment outside and play ball and so on. And it's surprising uh, how they, I hope I succeeded. I wanted them to think of school as a place they liked to come. Two years after I left, one teacher that took my place didn't show up. That's when they came and took all the children, took a little bit of doing. I think I got involved in that where I was assuring them that, you know, things would be all right. So they all went there. And there was no, there was no big deal in, in, you know, in the cultural shock or anything like that. They, London needed counselors at the London Educational Center, that's the Indian, uh, the district education in London. And then there was a Mr. Devonish there who was the superintendent in uh, London. And so I, I had come to know him. And when they, the time came for a counselor in London district, he asked for me.